to me again. We've got another Sabre build to show off to you, and this one is a Corbanth MPP 2.0. Um, I did the grips in Empire Strikes Back style. Uh, I got this screw from, I think you can see it, KR Sabres instead of the clamp. Um, I need to still add a little greebly that goes there, but um, I don't think, because it doesn't screw in, I might not even do it, because if, if ever fighting with this, you know, I don't want it to mess up. I have a, uh, the, um, Blade plug from the custom saber shop, and inside it's running an Nano Biscotti V3 with a deep red, deep red white for flash on clash. Um, 18650 with a recharge port, and actually the custom saber shop 3D printed chassis, which I really, really like. I wish they had one for the Graphlex 2.0 just for basic builds because, um, I don't really want to do crystal chambers a eh? because they're a little too pricey for for my for my in my opinion and they're a lot more work um and i don't really want to send it out to 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 wait for a while to get that back so I'll, i'm good with basic installs and I, and I never open them up the only reason i open them up is to charge them i, I never really show it off so custom saber shop if you're listening i hope you guys are going to make chassis for the new 20, 2017 corban sabers because i've got a bunch of those kylos that I'm going to be working on um, that would make my life way easier to have the um, chassis for, for sure. Um, external modifications that I've done on this, other than the screw, is I got the KR Sabres, um, the Saber Armory, I guess, by KR Sabres, retention screw. Um, I used one of my Graphlex switches, my Graphlex 2.0 switches for the switch here. The one that I had, that came with it was a little, it was being weird, and, and it wouldn't sink down all the way, and it got to the point where I couldn't even press it, um, so I just took it out. It's running, the Nano Biscotti V3, the sound font is the um, MPPHD, or... I don't even remember it off the top of my head, but it's the Empire Strikes Back version with a Vader boot sound. But uh, yeah, that's that's turn it on real quick. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. I actually really like this LED too. It, it's a really nice shade of red. Um, I only have the the uh, clear 7 8 inch blade because I it, it's just 7 8 inch blade that this accepts which for how thick it is man like you'd imagine it could hold a 1 inch blade no problem but I, I'm not picky this is going to be more of a shelf queen than anything but uh, if I had a properly this is properly diffused but if I had a, one of the trans white blades I think the color might be a little different but uh yeah, it shows up. Let me turn it off. It's a little stiff because it's not the switch that's meant for it. The switch that it came with, it kept the little. The construct of this is, is awesome. It has little uh, space, unlike the, the 2.0, that runs wires within the, the main body two out here and then the 3d chassis feeds them into where it needs to go so there's no ex excessive cables sticking out but because i used the wrong switch it, it, it's a it's not a it, you can't really hear it anymore it's not like you're not hearing the clickiness of it but um it like i said it's gonna be a shelf queen i'm not really gonna be changing it all that much there's the blade plug it's nice um the only reason i normally get kr sabers ones but the reason I got this is because I had already placed a bunch of orders with Kara Sabres. And I don't want to keep paying for the shipping. Because <laughs> I, I, I never make a real parts list until... Actually, I never really make a parts list. I just kind of buy it as I think that I need it. Um, maybe I should start doing that. But that's why I didn't buy it from Kara Sabres. But uh, without further ado... 
even on even on my even the light on my face isn't really giving it justice. It's a deep red. It's um on here it looks like it does in the movie. I I think with the glow, I always thought that the remasters his lightsabers look his lightsaber look pink more than anything. But um on here it's it's a it's a deep deep red for sure. Um, I wonder in white flash on class. And then that lingers for a bit. And I want to say it's because of the sound font. And then it dims. But yeah, I, I think it's... The sound font audio must still be, like, going. Um, but I'm going to have to check that out and tweak it, because that's weird. That's the second time it's done that. And it's still, you can still see it's on. It's still doing it. I, I I'm a little perplexed. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to take take that apart and look at it again. But uh, yeah. I mean, uh, other than that, it was a fun build. I'm excited for the next few core bands we're getting. Um, my next upcoming builds are. I have the Romans props, Revenge of the Sith, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Inception, not the Elite, the regular one. Um, I'm waiting for the chassis, the battery, the speaker for that. Um, my build after, that one's probably going to be sometime at the end of the year. It's probably going to get in the back burner because I don't want to mess with it because it's just a nice, really nice looking hilt. But the next one after that, the next one immediately Whichever one I get first will probably be either be the Corban or Corban Cross Guard 2.0. I have three of those I'm doing. And then I have the Roman Props Balance B4, which is the, the unused TFA Luke Skywalker lightsaber prop. That one will be, I have all the parts for that ready. And then I have Rudy Pando's Luke V3 Shared Stunt, his second iteration of that one. Um, so whichever one of those loops come first, I'll, I'll, I'll do that one. And then I'll, I'll be sure to do a video and, and share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more and thanks for watching.